Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. Today I want to talk about Lynx, TikTok's new cross-platform framework. You hear it right. TikTok has a new cross-platform framework and it's called Lynx. So if we now go to the website of Lynx, actually, uh, right, you see here it unlocks native for more. <coughs> Empowering the web community and invite more to build across platforms. Eh? Right once, render anywhere. We have it for Android, iOS and the web, which is great. And if we go then to the guide, you get great specifications. You need to have Node.js 18 or later. And eh, we are using R Speedy, uh, R Speedy based Linux built or Lynx built tool to build Lynx projects and it's required to start a new project using create or speedy then actually when we go here to our terminal right we can do the following thing and I already did it to test things out right uh, we have here type app that we can type in we can see TypeScript I use at prettier and then we can go to type app we do then npm install and then you will see I think this the installation there and when we go here to app.ts you see here that it looks like uh, React because it's indeed at links dash JavaScript slash React. And I think <coughs> it's great because then, of course, you can use things that are being familiar for you when you are writing React applications. Eh? You can use state. You can say use effect to do uh, console.info hello react links and then we can do const app tab use callback um, we can then set up everything with view uh, view class name background an app <coughs> you can use an image there right you can do text all these kind of things are possible with links so that's great so next thing we need to do is do something like npm run dev to run our development environment. And then you will see that we will get a URL and that URL is important. Why? Because when you are working within a Mac OS environment, you can use um, you can use Xcode, right? So if we go to Xcode, then you can go here to um, services or may open uh, dev tools. I'm sorry, and then you can say simulator. Then we get the simulator here. And it's running or setting up the simulator. And uh, when you go to the website of links, you will see that you will get um, a download file where you can have the Linux or the Lynx uh, Explorer. And with the Lynx Explorer, when we uh, drag it to the um, iPhone simulator, we can then get this. Uh, you can then very easily um, copy paste this one and normally it should run but I think under the hood is now downloading everything uh, so that we can then very easily see um, the app or at least I hope so I don't know the first time that I'm trying this So then you would get this kind of a result, which is nice. Um, then you can tap on it and you see here it changes, uh, right? 
I will change something in code and then you'll see uh, when we go back to this uh, that it will be uh, changed. Right. So let's go here and then do something like this um, set of uh, React. We can do a uh, type with me um, tutorial. You are awesome right I'm just gonna save it and normally it's uh, hot reload reload so uh, you should see the changes immediately and here we go here the changes are uh, type with me tutorial you are awesome right so of course uh, we can uh, create uh, um, yeah other applications and maybe I'm gonna play around with it and see if I can create some kind of a nice uh, game um, in here uh, that I can maybe later on distribute. I will see uh, what I can do um, and come back to you um, learn a little bit about it as well. Um, but this is my two cents right now. This is my two... Um, this is my... Um, my idea, my idea is that it's for now really nice that you can do certain things with it, but of course it's just like uh, changing things within um, the ASICs and um, doing some basic manipulation for now. So, uh, but and that's the last thing that I want to show you or I want to tell you is that it also has a um, showcase where you can look into it and see uh, what it can do as well. So let's go uh, and dive into that a little bit and then you will see that it has things like CSS and other kind of things like animations and so on and this is just uh, very nice. On the other hand it's just quite new um, that TikTok or ByteDance and uh, the, uh, um, the company behind TikTok launched this framework uh, but I think it's 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 cool. Uh, you see that China is playing along with it. Uh, that more and more tech comes from China, so be aware and just um, use it uh, to your advantage. So if you go back to the uh, Links Explorer, you can see here showcases, and then you see here cool things. Um, so um, lazy bundle. Sometimes I also have feeling that uh, so if I go to animation and you see here and you click on it Yeah, this works, right? It's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome But if I then go here you see I don't see anything and that's a little bit strange I really don't understand this um, transitions animation can be that sometimes it needs to load and I can understand it a little bit uh, but see here animate I clicked on something else right flex grow I really don't understand but oh here we are this is showing me something and direction cool flex grow strange so sometimes I have the feeling that it is not working correctly but on the other hand like I said before it's quite new it's uh, really exciting I'm gonna see if I can create some kind of a nice uh, application with it um, and then come back to you guys to show you a little bit more of an advanced application go through it um, and see what it can do um, for you so I'm quite excited I'm quite excited I think it's something really promising uh, and I think it is um, well nice for web developers that know uh, React and can uh, build uh, directly um, mobile applications on top of it. 
can very easily use uh, CSS uh, there as well. And like I said before, uh, here in the code you have something like this. Um, you can create class names like uh, .app and then here uh, class name app is being used or .banner or .logo. So <coughs> could also do something like this style equals and then something like this and um, font font size forty pixels. Have no idea if this is cool. If this is going to work. And again, like I said, you just need to copy paste this one right here and you just go here up you copy paste it and you say go and here we go the type with me tutorial has a font size now of 40 if I go back here and just to 4 for example to make it very small it should be very very small right I cannot read it anymore <laughs> it's so cool if I now say 78 for example it should be very very big and indeed it's very very big so cool nice I hope you liked it please tell me in the description or in the comment below what you think of it and I hope to see you in the next one please subscribe or give us a thumbs up if you think it's a cool video.